I think it's so interesting what you were saying earlier, as a person who's been blind your whole life, not seeing color, but also feeling and recognizing the racial injustices and how people, all, all of us who are seeing, judge each other by the color of our skin. It must be very interesting as a blind man for race to play such a major role in this country when for you, it truly isn't an issue because you, you can honestly say you don't see color. No, well, I do see color, but I don't see it like that. I see color in the spirit of the person. And your spirit is either good or bad. Mm -hmm. That's the bottom line. You are, you are living for the perpetuation of life or you are actually killing yourself with the hate you have within. That's what's up. Okay, so where you sit now, and you are, are I know, a deeply spiritual person, Could not, not just religious, but a deeply spiritual, feeling, conscious person. What do you think of where we are as humanity and how we're doing? I think that people have gotten so hung up in what they see online and, you know, everyone's perpetuating hate as opposed to love. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's a heartbreak for me. It really is. Because I think, you know, we have far much more potential as human beings that we're giving ourselves. We're destroying the planet and saying, oh, that's not real. I, I, don't, I don't know what people are thinking about. You know, you are not really privileged. Because when you take from the almighty that has given everything to you for absolutely free and begin to feel like, hey, well, I'm not, that's what I'm supposed to have. This is how it's supposed to be, and just for me. Well, then that's the beginning of your death. You know, you wrapped up your video when you were speaking about what was going on in the world with an urgent plea in the words of John Lewis, you were saying, do good trouble, and for me, good trouble is bringing our nation, this nation, back together, together again. Yeah, and the way we do that mm -hmm. is, is to vote justice in and injustice out. So Out. You, out. What do you want to say? I am just sort of, I'm baffled by anyone who believes with the state of our nation that their vote doesn't matter. What do you want to say about that when, you know, you and I, in the same age range, come, came up in a generation where, you know, people still were fighting for the right to vote. Listen, when you have a group of, a group of people who actually plan to kidnap a governor of a state mm -hmm. because they feel a certain kind of way, we are completely offbeat. Yeah. You know, can you, would you share what you're trying to do with the God that you say you serve? Would you do that? With the God you serve, feel good about that from you. It's bullish. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It really is. And so I just feel that we have to, we have to vote, you know, injustice out and positive in. So along with all the hundreds of songs that you have written for yourself, you've written them for other people. Uh, we watched you earlier in the year in that great special when you were the Alicia Keys and everybody and you played Lean On Me. What do you think we can be leaning on right now? What, what should we be leaning on? Everybody loves that song. Lean on the goodness in your heart. Lean on that. Lean on, lean on knowing that how you do today will affect what will happen to your children and their children and so forth, so forth on tomorrow. Lean on the fact that you have to speak and not be afraid. 